F, F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. Well, what's up, folks? How the fuck are you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So this hey. is uh, this is our new pa- pa- pad ca- podcast. Padcast. Podcast. Who's vibrating? Kiss that cost. shit off. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Sorry, guys. Let me throw that on the ground. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, I just sorry. need to vibrate. So welcome to the podcast. It's I, called F This. F This. F This. F this. And all our efforts for, for the past, what, month or two? Yes. Has been boiling down to this very moment. Mm. 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 Yeah. It's, it's been a month. It's been a while. 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 So, a month and a half, I think. Yeah. Once again, yeah. welcome to F This. I'm Duff. Shante. Hmm. Malcolm. Swanee. That's right. Swanee. So, so this new format, uh, obviously we've got a new member now, Neil. Uh, If you remember him as a guest on our sister podcast, that is no longer, it's no longer alive. Well, you can watch old episodes if you go to the fthis.com podcast. Did I do that right? Yeah. yeah. Fthispodcast.com. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Okay. This, <laughs> Fthiscompod.cast. <laughs> Fcom this dot slash podcast. <laughs> At dot edu. <Yeah. laughs> Get educated. Back, Back it. Backslash social disappointment. That's right. And there you'll see a picture of me. <laughs> okay. And your mom. <laughs> With your mom. <laughs> Only in black and yellow. Black and yellow. Right. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so Swan Neely, you're gonna be monitoring the live chat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People start so showing up. So if you want to jump, you guys say I'll read it. Anything you say or do will be held against you. In a court of what? Of f this. Oh. F this court. So it's perfect. So if you want to shoot some comments our way, if you want to start participating in all the different segments that we're going to be working on, then you can comment here on the video and we can talk to you. If you want to write in stuff and say things and you don't want us to use your name, say that in the beginning of uh, your messages and stuff like that. Anonymity. Yeah. So if you have questions or you want us to discuss something, shoot it because we want to work that out with you guys. Um. So... uh, um, since you guys are here and you're, see- you're seeing us on Facebook, you guys found us at, at this podcast. And then you can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. But it's Podbean, right? You can find us at Podbean. Yeah. Uh, you All can go, the episodes. Can go, go to www.fthispodcast.com. Mm-hmm. You know the Podbean deal. Yeah, and it'll, go, it'll, go, it'll take us straight to, to our Podbean account. So you can download us there and listen to us there. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically all, all we did was we took the left, the good website, left the good.com. And then I just kind of flipped it over to be at this podcast.com. Yeah. You can still go there and see our old F, uh, left the good podcasts. Uh, yeah, so these podcasts and new episodes will be uploaded to iTunes automatically. You can find them in the same place. So you can listen to us if you're plugged your phone into your car, you can listen to us if you're Bluetooth and on any of those websites and driving around town. Mm-hmm. While you're so, making the love. Or if you're cleaning your house, like some of our friends are. Or if you're cutting up a body in the basement. I mean, we'll be there for you. Yeah. So, I mean, all this sounds like we're just masturbating, so I if you're doing that too. I want to be in your ear. I want to be all up in your cool. ear. Just <laughs> Heavy breathing. Yeah. Heavy breathing for right. a couple seconds. We'll so be your let's horn just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just take a moment to do some heavy breathing right now. <sighs> Like creepy breathing. Just only, only breathing out, breathing. no breathing in. A snore breather. <laughs> no we inhaling, we only exhaling. Now gonna pass only it. exhaling. And we can only inhale. Yeah. I got really dizzy. <laughs> I'm going to die. Join us <laughs> as we get high off of it. <laughs> high off of the podcast. That's right. <laughs> it's so good. All right, guys. So, how the fuck are you? How the F are you? No, how the F are you? 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 Oh, I'm so good. How the F are you? I'm so good, you guys. How the F are you? I'm pretty F and excellent. All right. F and excellent. That's right. 
I'm a, I'm a little farty today. Yes. Uh, you farty motherfucker. We did Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving yeah. yesterday, and we had mm-hmm. dinner, and it was delicious, and I just went overboard. I went I made a very town. large meal of food, and I ate so much that I had a headache so bad I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I was in so much pain I thought I was going to die. You didn't go to sleep. You blacked out. You know, it was like three days with no sleep, and then eating a giant cinnamon bun. What the fuck was that about? Oh, yeah. Dude, that... <laughs> Ugh. I was just too like, much sugar. I I passed out. I yeah. went into a diabetic coma. I was just gassy all day. Like I had to send myself out of my apartment. Like I opened, <laughs> I, I opened my living room window and I opened the like the spare room window and I took off out of the apartment. I'm like I'll come back later when it's fresh in here. <laughs> but I'm just I'm sitting here worried that I didn't close my apartment windows. Malcolm now has anxiety that the rain is getting in his windows. The rain is well, getting in his Yeah, stuff. but just like... But the I, farts are getting out, so can you just find some... I'm worried that, that somebody's going to try climbing the window, too. They don't On want the to. It smells like floor. farts. Well, the, 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 oh, you've never done it. Spider-Man. Uh, a couple months ago, I asked my neighbor as I came home. Like, <laughs> somebody, like yeah, a fucking really good. homeless guy, climbs into my window and shits on my couch. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's shit on the coat. So, so the next day, I asked the neighbor, I'm like, hey, did you see anything weird out here at all? And he's like, yeah, I saw you climbing through your window last night. And shit on your couch. What's <laughs> up with that? How did you even manage that? Pretty when you sleep, you have, like, all this agility. That's right. You're, you're from from Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. You're Spider-Man when you sleep. There's nothing I can't do. You've been having these Spider-Man dreams, but they're actually real. <laughs> they're actually you in real life. I'm not flinging lebs around. I'm flinging shit around. <laughs> <laughs> just pointing your ass. He's, he's a shit slinger, not a web slinger. Ooh, he's literally slinger. night monkey. Night, night, night monkey. monkey. Oh, night monkey. Oh. I like it. No, I dig it. I'm the night monkey. He's the night monkey. <laughs> oh, that goes with the whole monkey motif, too. Yeah, there you we guys, go. You guys, I just noticed something really funny. Huh. The mics look like my boobs. Oh, oh. Yeah. Chum, oh, chum, chum. okay. Hey, that's clever. Okay. See, that's that was all cool. a part of my plan, huh? You're a liar, fat mouth. You are so cool. Look Sorry, at... I didn't mean to make all that noise over look there, at... but I rubbed oh. your titties. <laughs> oh, it, it won't work. It's oh, it's like. Yeah, yeah you gotta do yeah. it right there. <laughs> that's what I mean. Okay, okay. Okay, okay none of right. that, you dirties. Okay, all silliness aside, did we yeah. get all the contact info out of the way? We got the email. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, Instagram. Go. Oh. Instagram. Uh, Swan Ely is in charge of our Instagram front. No, oh, yeah. it's Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Twitter. Neil's, Neil's Twitter. Uh, sorry. At this podcast on Twitter, or you can look up at F Podcast. Right. Nice. Yeah. Well, we got F Podcast. And Shantae has Instagram, and that's hashtag F This Podcast. And I don't have anything because I'm an irresponsible <laughs> motherfucker. So that's why. But I'm okay with that. I'm really fine with that. But Malcolm rocks the Facebook yeah. and we all share. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're all yeah, yeah, that's the way it'll be. Like yeah. We're all pleasantly occupied. So if you're hitting us up on Instagram with messages and stuff, just know that Shantae's there. Yeah. And but, Neil's twitting. Yeah, but in the, Twitter. And like tweeting. the grand scheme of this show, as far as our responsibilities, it's a lot different. Like yeah. Shantae comes with the weird shit. You would call him Shantae and so if you're ever walking your dog and you're you just have this weird thought in your head and you're like who the fuck would think that or you're, or if you're that's dog's totally that. shantae shit yeah. so if you're in your sh- in the shower and you're washing your hair you're and you're like shitter. thinking about some weird crap who knows what you're thinking of shower thoughts shower thoughts yeah. and you're just like god that's weird you know what that's that's like something shantae would think about let's totally talk about that because that's my favorite yeah, so if you're having some weird thought that n- is just ridiculous and you want to share it um, I'm totally there. Let's hit share the weird. Yep. You hit us weird up. Stuff. Yeah, hit her up with the email. F this podcast at gmail.com and then yeah. address it to Shante. And, yeah. and then we'll talk about it on the next episode. Yeah. yeah. And then, um. Duff? Duff, Duff. is our resident, uh. Ranter. Yeah, he's. Yeah. He gets angry. He, gets, he wants to talk he hard about it. He wants yeah, to talk hard. I, I don't get necessarily angry. I just get passionate. He is very yeah. passionate. He passionate. Fucking passionate. He will get passionate upside your head. Yes. All up in your so ear holes. Say he will Hulk smash it. Hulk right. smash yeah. your ears. Oh, oh, but passionately. Ears. Yes. Passionately. Passionate. With passion. Yeah. With yeah. passion. That's right. Not anger. Passion. Yeah. And then, I will uh, passionately kick you in the fucking Swan Ely over here is holding down the nerd verse yes. with the yeah. nerdy news. Yes. yes. Yeah. So Get I'll be coming nerdy. at y'all with some nerdy news. Yeah, whatever it may be, comics, video games, movies, books. 
Anything that you think is nerdy. Anything you geek on, hit them up to at the same email address, addressed to Neil and... and Talk about it. Yeah, Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll have a discussion with you about it. I'm open to, like, anything. Yeah. Talking about whatever. Yeah, and seriously, if you... Well, well, since we're talking about that, and if you have any peeves, like, seriously, hit me up. Let me know your peeves are. Yes. Some shit yeah, irritated yeah. the fuck out of you yeah, yeah, and yeah. Duff. You should remember that. I'm sorry. No, no worries. To the same email addressed yeah. to Duff. Yeah. About something that pisses you off. Something that peeves you. You want to discuss Like peeves. Them. Yeah. Like peeves kind of pisses me off. Every time I listen to Harry Potter, peeves is a little annoying. Yeah. <laughs> he peeves me. That voice. You're yeah. right. Oh, it does. Yeah. It's just kind of, scra- it's like nails against a chalkboard or fucking fork against a plate. You have anybody um, on this And then um, uh, yeah, Malcolm. Uh, so if you want some... Um, we have a few people watching what, with us. What is it? Unsolicited advice? Oh, hey, yeah. Um, unqualified. Unqualified, unqualified advice. Very unqualified. Very unsolicited. <laughs> very unsolicited. I mean, that too, right? Very uneducated. No, but if you want to if you want to write in and you're I'm just like... I'm the wild card. Yeah. Ask so Malcolm we're calling, anything. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're calling we it Dear Malcolm. Yeah. yeah. You want to talk about something Dear emotional, Malcolm. personal. Yeah. I don't know, your first time. Whatever. Oh, your you second know. time, your Those last time. Those things happen. You want to talk about? I'm your boy. I got so, you. So, same email address. Address it to Malcolm. Me. And then we Questions. will address it here. And if yeah. it's too personal and you don't want your name a part of it, make sure to say that. And then, 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 I then, would then, like to be anonymous. Yes, and then anonymous. That goes anywhere There's for anonymous. any of us. If you want to yeah. hit us up, yeah. any of us, same email, our name, anonymous. And if yeah. you want some anonymity, yeah. if you want the anonymity, that's perfectly fine. But if you want to tell us who you are, that's perfectly cool too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you, if more than happy. Or a name. nickname, we'll totally yeah. nickname you too. Yeah. Yeah. Nickname, yeah. first name, whatever. Like, whatever. Uh, fake whatever. name. Yeah. Fake name. It's just we have to come up with the nickname. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's the only. That's if we get to choose, if we get to choose, we choose, we the, choose nickname. the nickname. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. So. Uh, Let's get some shout outs for people that are joining us now. Let them yeah. know that they're known. Who's up All there? right. So, I mean, watching from mine. Uh, uh, first watching names only. Now, first names only. Uh, we have Jerrica. Hi, Jerrica. What's up, Jerrica? Welcome. What's up? It says uh, we have Sheena and. Yo, we Sheena. have Tyler. Sheena's, Sheena's a punk rocker. Oh. Sheena. <laughs> also, Sheena. To, to Steven. Sheena is a punk rocker. Hey. Steven. Steven. Hey, Steven. Steven called Whoa. the fuzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven. Steven. What up, Steve-o? Steven. 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 Hi, Steven. Okay. Steven. Steven. Anybody else? Um. Hey, we, had about, we had about 50 people hey. that came and went. Oh, oh hey. Somebody. Up, Nobody, uh, say if you're sitting here listening. <laughs> Your name's not Somebody Steven. said Steven. Yeah. <laughs> we got another little guest here. Yeah, we have a guest. I'm going to drop in and say, hey. This is my little son. Is my little Paul? son. My this, little one. This is Paulus. Say, say hi. Hi. Hi, hi to everybody. Hi, How everybody. Everybody. Hi. Say, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah? <laughs> say, F that. <laughs> that. That's literally the reflection. Yeah. <laughs> say, fudge right. this. Bye. I love you. Bye. I love you, bud. Right. And last like but candy. certainly not least, our Lord and Savior Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, oh. Jeff Goldblum, open them all over here. Yeah. He's always with He's us. He's always so. with us. Yeah. In Smiling our hearts and on our walls. Rachel's watching too. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. What up, Rachel? What up, Rachel? What up, Rachel? Hey. Yeah. Anytime somebody new jumps in, just let them know. Yep. Let us know let so us we can let them know. We're that watching. We're yeah. watching you. You're wa- watching and you watch us. So we got everybody's responsibilities in the show out of the way. And what it's going to come down to is different segments in the show that they take. Mm-hmm. You know, they take the wheel, basically. And the rest of us just kind of sit back and provide a little bit of commentary here and there. Come on. Get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get out of there. Right. All right. Um, so, yeah, we've got, we got all the pleasantries out of the way. Hi, Shante. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Shante's in the chat room. Yeah, guys. Say what's up. Hi. 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 <laughs> All right. So, what's our uh, addendum looking like? Our um, itinerary. What do you want? To, what do you guys want to talk about? Our menu. Who wants to say fuck this about what? Oh, fuck this. Uh, I will say fuck this about food that makes you gassy. And so everything? Because, yeah. <laughs> that's how it seems now, dude. I I seriously was thinking about this the other day. Um, yeah, just random fucking thought. 
Um, I don't necessarily like eating at work because I don't necessarily want to go to the fucking bathroom because I have an issue with going to public bathrooms. Right. Right? Um, it's not get raped. No, he will literally not eat huh? all day. Every I might day. get beaten. Yeah. I might get robbed. Might, no? No. I might kill? No. I might fall in the toilet and die. Okay. He might poop. Oh. Okay, I might poop. There's a problem there. That's a real conundrum, though. Like, what do you do? Like, yeah, like, you like seriously, I'm shit break. Yeah. I yeah, am shit break. Really oh, shit. Oh, American I am, pie. I am <laughs> shit break. I am shit break, bro. I have issues with going in the bad and going. Well, I can, I can piss all fucking day. It doesn't matter. But. Taking a poop in a fucking public bathroom is a fucking issue for me. Yeah. And I have no idea where Sam is from. But the American Pie. But I won't eat at work because I don't want to get fucking farty and I don't want to fucking get, you know. <laughs> he poop. doesn't want to get poopy. Yeah, yeah I don't want to get poopy. Understandable. So, you know, I'll 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 snack maybe. Yeah. But I won't have a big meal of fucking food there. Well, that's that's a big thing too with people. But like, that's what I was that, it, it, coming to what I was thinking about. Yeah. Right. Was that we're 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 horrible fucking beings, like <laughs> we 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 are we are so evolved to the point, but not evolved enough no. that things that we can consume consume we can only take what we need from it, right? And then we produce a lot of waste, yeah. a lot of waste. Yeah. I'm not, not not talking a small amount of waste. The, the human body creates a lot of fucking waste that we have to dispose of. And we have yet to find a fucking functional way to dispose of our shit, right? This is whatever. I think, but recycle. Fertilizer. Yeah, fertilizer. It's like water. You know, you know what I mean? But <laughs> right? repurpose it, right? I mean, it's, it's perfect for other other things in the in, in the in the in the world. But you really do you want to walk around, walk around smelling fucking shit all the time? Yeah. But. No. <laughs> Hi that's, Becky, that's, welcome to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to jump in. You that's had weird. me at poop. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just what I was thinking about was was like consuming food, and we're still not evolved enough to consume the right amount of food in order for us to use the right amount of uh, nutrients from that food that we consume and not produce waste. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really, I mean that's the only reason why we have assholes. You know that you, you know can I mean? buy dog food that fits your dog um, better health-wise so that they're pooping less? Yeah. Like, if your dog is pooping all the time, it's because they're not eating the right food. Like, they're eating it, and it's going right through them. Real You're, dog food. You just witnessed the fucking them. shantism right now. <laughs> it's a, it's just right then and there. Like, I was, I was I know. Know. just, I was just yeah. randomness. Like, I know just, random things. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, it takes being a dog this. owner to know that. That's yeah. good, though. Like, getting back to your whole So, issue. if humans did that, we would have less poops? Yeah. yeah. I, if we like, ate the dog food, I would poop less? If we ate the right dog food. The right dog right. food. Okay. What's the, okay, we got to find out the right dog so food. So, we'll research that. Yeah. yeah. I will so entirely go for it. I'm sure that if we if we consumed less, um, um, Refined products, yeah. and our body was was naturally naturally eating naturally and eating things that were natural that didn't have a bunch of fucking byproducts in it, that we wouldn't be so bad. But then again, when you think about it, when a vegan fucking farts, it's it's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst. It's, it's pretty fucking <laughs> I used bad. to work with a guy who was vegan, and it was just like horrible. It's like yeah. death in your fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's crept right. out and up your nose. It was. It was like death, like a cloud. Like a like a green cloud. Yeah. So yeah, there. That was. That was. There's my. <laughs> there's <laughs> my issue. So I want to get back. I want to yeah, get yeah. back to your whole issue with not being able to poop in public toilets. Is, okay. Is that something that you would consider addressing, or are you okay with it? I, I'm perfectly. Do you want to fix this issue? No. Yeah. Like you, I am perfectly <laughs> fine. I am perfectly <laughs> not you reprogram your I brain to be able to poop in a public. I don't toilet. want to. I don't want to. I don't want to poop fucking five. Well, not even like it's like fucking. You're like two feet, three feet away from another, another motherfucker. In the well, you're breathing in his poop. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, 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 you walk into a bathroom and somebody just took a shit. In that that's that's the only thing that's separating you from another man's poop, <laughs> right? We're talking about what? Eight <laughs> inches. Eight inches. Not only that, but from from the floor to the wall is like that, and you okay. can like yeah. see there's feet. You guys go here, here, here you guys can like touch that. each other. No, 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 no. We're talking about the walls are this big. <laughs> the walls are this big, but you're about three feet from the wall, and then they're yeah, about three like feet far away from, from the guy. So then we're about six feet away from each other when we're taking a shit. But you have a hole underneath and a hole above it, where you're breathing in his fucking shit particles and. 
or your shit particles and my shit particles, and I'm breathing in yours. See, I have a fucking I have an issue with that. If the if the stalls were completely fucking private, <laughs> like it was my own little fucking private bathroom, like a big had a fan, had a fan, had a fan. Mike, exactly. Mr. Some Mike music. has like yes. some closed in rooms. They keep like a Bluetooth speaker embedded in the wall. Oh God! Pair up to listen to music while you're so pooping. Please, or please, please, please. Right? You can listen to us while you're pooping. The only issue I have with public washrooms is when you when you use the stall, the gap between the door oh, right. and the thing is like damn. It's like, it's like this like, big. Yeah, you can look for it. You're, you're <laughs> scared to do the eye contact with somebody. The yeah, I just walk as they're taking a shit, and you have a moment with them. You're like, oh. usually, like if <laughs> I'm the in the head, like, if, if I'm on the other side of town and I'm close to Staples and like I'm making deliveries and I have to pee real bad, I always go to Staples because it's easy in and out and no one's ever in there. I don't know why, but I'm like, I gotta. I gotta go. So I'm straight in there. And the freaking at Staples, at where Neil works, the the gaps between the doors <laughs> and like the the other wall and stuff are like you could see both yeah. eyes. Yeah. Like if someone got <laughs> you there, see both like eyes. usually if you <laughs> just food, one eye. you can see like a part of somebody, you can see like <laughs> both you can see the whole eye. <laughs> <eyes. laughs> I'm like if I can see both their eyes, they can see both yeah. my eyes. Yeah. You can yeah. see right into their soul. You yeah. can't see into yours. But you know what? That would never stop me. I will still go to samples and peas. Because it's the best place. And you, you just you have to say hi. I'm right? like, don't what worry, you girl, you're next. Don't, just don't even, don't yeah. worry about it. Don't trip. Don't trip. What did Becky say? Becky oh. say something about pooping? My son's a vegetarian, and everything that comes out smells so much worse than everyone else. <laughs> but he can poop in like 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Smooth. Wow. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. This, 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 this world is real. That that is a real issue. But I'm just saying. Just, oh, it's totally normal. Yeah, no, like, I don't. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not ash, I'm not. I'm not. I'm fucking ashamed at, of that at all. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't I'm have fucking said anything. Either, baby. But I don't want to solve it. I don't want to fucking shit in public because I don't fucking feel comfortable shitting in public. Right, right, right. I, I, it's 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 a mental issue. It's a it's a fucking can be debilitating, especially if I like, especially if I like fucking just went somewhere and had fucking chili. What? Right? You get really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get really yeah. fucking uncomfortable yeah. because, yeah. Then, because, because then I'm like... You need to go home on prayer time. <laughs> Seriously, it's like this. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not even the, it's not even it's not even the, the prairie dog in situation. You're like you don't you don't you don't understand whether or not your stomach's going to react to it yeah. the way it normally would, or if it wouldn't. Or if you're blow up. You can have yeah, a blow up. Yeah, you have a blow. Yeah. Am I going to have a fucking blow up? <laughs> you know, like yeah. I'm also I'm also native. That's so thing. eating cheese. That's can yeah. be an issue, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Or eating ice cream can yeah. be an issue. Yeah. So you go out in a public and guys, place and you will partake. not eat it. He will eat it. <laughs> yeah, he'll like, put it in front let of me here. have it. I will eat it. Oh, fuck yeah. He doesn't give a shit. It. He's like, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen to my butthole after this, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> it's just as, long as I'm, just as long as I'm fucking at home. I don't He's like, as long as we're close to home, I'm going to eat the shit out of it. I'm going to eat the shit out of it. I don't give a fuck. In and out. Easy peasy. Okay, so... That's mm. my what the fuck or fuck this mm. party and poopy. <laughs> What's your fuck this? Customers. Ooh. Not all customers. Strap in, folks. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I I feel like I have really wonderful customer service. Yeah. I'm very nice to a lot of people, yeah. but sometimes people are not effing nice. Yeah. I'm really nice to a lot of people all the time, and then I come home and then I'm like. Evan, Evan, F, F, and F. <laughs> Did they beat your husband? <laughs> I'm sorry I brought home work. I brought work home with me. No, like ungrateful people or late people or like one person, it, you know, you meet a time, like even they choose the time to meet or drop off and they're not there or they're like, oh, I'll be there in a half an hour. And I'm like, no, there's like 50 other people I have to meet up with. And so it's a domino effect. So if there's one shitty customer, especially like the freaking beginning of the day, it's just like, doosh, 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 and then it makes me look bad. Snow and balls. I have mad anxiety about being on time or being early. Like I have to be there, be early or right on time. Right. I was just taught that I get really bad anxiety. So when the one person does it, I'm like, F this for the rest of the effing day. <laughs> <laughs> then you go home and you beat your husband. Everybody hears it. Everyone. Yeah. 
I hear him crying at night sometimes. He like calls Malcolm. Yeah. Shante I had a bad morning. <laughs> he locks himself in the bathroom and he calls me. He turns the shower on. Don't tell her he told whis- you, Malcolm. And I whisper. Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing it again. Then you hear bang. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking about my shit? I got I'm just taking a shower, babe. You always say that. Call me back in 20 minutes. It's like the first shower <laughs> day, dude. Yeah. It doesn't help. It makes it worse. Yeah. So, you got anxiety. anxiety. I do, I do. And I have anxiety. And you Dealing know what? It started as being young. Like, yeah. my grandpa made it very important to us as young people that to make a good impression, you need to be early. And if you're late, you know, then it's disrespectful. So when people do it to me, I find it disrespectful. I have I have a little tip for people that want to work, that are worried about being on time and they're constantly late. <coughs> uh, think about your event. Let's say. Oh yeah, yeah we say, talked about this. Let's say you have a doctor's appointment at one o'clock in the afternoon. T- tomorrow, so you want to be at your doctor's appointment fifteen minutes early. So that's quarter to one. Uh, if you're coming from Kitimat, that's about a forty-minute drive. So. You want to leave about 5 after 12. So you're working your time backwards from your appointment so that you can get there early or on time at that time that you want, right? Mm-hmm. Factor in your shower, brushing your teeth, your morning ritual, coffee, whatever, you know, another half hour or an hour, right? You're going to be starting that about 11. Yeah. So... That's what I do. So I count get... back. Okay, so I'm going to do that this time. This is how long it takes to get there. This is how long it takes me to load up to do yeah. this, to do that. Yeah. And that's what I do. It's, it's, like, just... it's like prepping for work. Yeah. You know, like, like, for anything. Like, you want to be on time for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I work, I work what, on, on one of the day shift. I work at like 6 30 in the morning. Yeah. But I, gotta, I, I want to get there at least 20 minutes before I, like 20 minutes before I'm supposed to be there at 6 30. Right? So I'm clocked in at like 6 10. Right, so to be there at six ten, I gotta be up at like fucking five o'clock. Mm-hmm. You know, do my whole morning routine, do I do what I need to do, and then go get my lunch, and then go fucking go to work. Yeah. Right. So, I'm I'm at work twenty minutes before I'm supposed to be at work. I'm not even on the floor yet, but I'm in my office, and then we don't even hit the floor until seven o'clock at seven o'clock in the morning. So I've already been to work, been at work for almost a fucking hour. But you Before feel I even hit the fucking floor. You feel ready. I, I feel you're relaxed. I, I've, you know, had my cross shift with my with with with, with my relieving shift, and you know, I, I figured out the day as to what I need to do and how to fucking handle my day. Yeah. Right. So it's just it's just that it's just it's constant it's constant pre prep. You prep before you prep. Is is how I look at it. And exactly. when you have mad yeah, anxiety, you, know I mean? you're you like, have to prep list, prep list, list. prep. Yeah. Like right? you guys, okay. The dudes, they don't have anything on the table. Look at me. Hey, that's not true. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Neil has a little notebook. But I'm like, I got notes. I got all of it. Yeah. I'm, like, right. I'm, I'm just recording everything. <laughs> just so, make sure this podcast exists. I have, well. I have whiteboards. I have calendars. I have colors. Different color codings. Yeah. I'm a total spaz about everything. She's the glue that holds the show together, pretty much. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. If I yeah. leave, everything just tumbles. Yeah. Oh yeah. But and like everybody else but, here, as has something that they can prepare yeah. for and that they do prepare mm-hmm. for. Yeah. Except for me, uh, my segment uh, depends on the listener participation. Listener participation. It depends on you calling in or writing in to me. Yeah. And. I can prepare for that, I guess. Like, if, if you send me an email asking a question, I can prepare for that for the next show. Mm-hmm. But I'll just wing the calls because they're cool like that. What about you, Swanee Lee? Oh, yeah. How do you F this shit going down? <laughs> the only thing that comes to mind, and I'm sure you could probably agree with this, is uh, F this. When customers come in and want a huge order done, like, next day, uh, and oh, it's, yeah. like, physically impossible to do. Because there's a, there's a whole bunch of other things that are to-dos before them. Yeah. Because and when then, people come in and contact you, it's, like, them. You're, it's all about them. That's yeah, that. Yeah. There's absolutely, there's absolutely no, no, I mean, for me, 
For me, this whole situation, it, it leads up to you, uh, a lack of consideration for self and others. Yeah. If you're considerate for yourself, you would be considerate to others. But since you absolutely don't give a fuck about yourself or anybody else, <laughs> or time you, management, you, you know, you, you know what you do is you you don't give a shit about anything. You're like, I need this done now, and I need it for myself. I don't give a fuck about who's behind me or who's who was before me. Right. You know what I mean? Or who's ahead of me? It doesn't even fucking matter. They're like, I want it now, and I'm like, all right, well, you know what? Fuck you, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't give a. We f- don't have magic wands and no, shit. No, bro. This Damn, is- girl. This, this is shit. like Hogwarts. We don't have no sounds <laughs> doing things behind the scenes. God, would that be lovely? So <laughs> would that be so good? Oh, so yeah. I, it, want, I want a Dobby. Is it usually um, printing things for you? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's that uh, uh, computer part. The computer part is not really too big of an issue, but the printing part totally is. <laughs> Just because it'll be like, it'll be, it's not so much like, you know, one or two doc, uh, documents. It's more like, oh, we need 50 copies of these books and they need to be bound. Right? <laughs> bound. Bound. And in yeah. color. <laughs> like, yeah. okay, 50 Damn. copies isn't too oh. bad, but like actually coiling them. Damn, is girl. Such a oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. I so that, that's my F this. So oh. much work. Yeah. See, I have a whole segment about F this, so I'm not going to even talk about mine. That's right. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's the shit that's, that we've been dealing with, and we'll come back with that every episode. At the top of the episode, we'll discuss what we've been dealing with that week. Okay? All right? Sounds good? All right? Yeah. So... Right. So... Don't curse me. <laughs> Don't think I have that in. <laughs> you got a flick. He's Stormtrooper. You got a whistle. Well, when he wanted to his wand in. Check that out. It's like legit Harry Potter one. Yeah, it's a serious. It's no, a, it's serious. It's yeah, serious. It's so serious. <laughs> Seriously serious, man. <laughs> no, it's serious. It's yeah, serious. It's a funky, sweet ass box. Right? right? It's That's it. Dude, I just turned this into an infomercial. <laughs> hey! Hold on, Shout out to my brother for picking this up for me when he was down there. Yeah, yeah bro. Somewhere. So, yeah, there's the lid, right? And so, you know, the guy at the wand shop. Picks it up for you, and he actually finds, the wand picks all you. Oh, the wand picks all you. That's right. But right. the guy has to grab it off the shelf, though, right? Yeah. All yeah, of that. What he does is he like sniffs you, and like. <laughs> oh, he sniffs the wand. You know what? Unicorn hair. Oh, I, I right. feel it. I think unicorn. He bends hair. you over and parts it, and he's like, smells like damp, and it smells like poo. Stop Ooh. it! <laughs> the reason why we're like get, we're like getting stoked about wands too is that we we're oh. all getting our own ones. Because now we're uh, serious black. We're gonna That's have right. a Harry Potter celebration, and we're gonna celebrate our Harry Potter nerdiness. Yeah. So we've been getting real stoked out on wands. It's not just a Harry Potter Potter celebration. It's our fucking birthday. It's the oh, birthdays. it's our birthdays. <laughs> a Harry it's Potter just a Harry Potter celebration. <laughs> <laughs> like we're just we're like we're like Harry Potter. Let's have a party about it. Harry Potter. Just like yes, man. Harry's coworker just was a random Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. My birthday my yeah, birthday is in two days and then um Christopher's is in a couple weeks. Right? Is it a couple weeks? And you guys just meet yeah, halfway through. Right? Yeah. And uh, we uh, haven't had just... celebrated our birthdays in like a million years. And, and then just so... like because of my work schedule and then other people's schedules, like our friends' schedules, we just figured it'd be perfect for us to like wait until all the wedding cake shit's done. Yeah. And then I can have my birthday early, and she can have her birthday late. Yeah, and we're gonna have it on All Saints Day. Yes. Oh yeah. So we're gonna celebrate the dead, and we're gonna celebrate Harry Potter. I'm gonna dress up like Hagrid. Hagrid somehow. Hagrid. <laughs> just get a robe. I'm gonna just dress up like Dobby. <laughs> oh, he needs long hair. Wear your bathrobe. Get a robe. <laughs> just get a robe and a wig. I don't know. Like, look, it's the dude. Umbrella, too. <laughs> the dude. The dude. Big buffs. Yeah. yeah. A pink <laughs> little umbrella. It needs to be a pink umbrella. Right. Are you going to make me a cake that you sat on? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I should have just walked around with you. Make me a cake that I can walk around with all night. That you sat on? Yeah. All right. I'll put my butt print in. No, you have to make it. Yeah. I can't make cake. Dude, it has it's to look like you made it. I can make it look like shit, though. That's, That's exactly the point. the point. Didn't Hagrid's cake look all right, though? No. 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 It was, it was, was like cracked in the middle. Am on I the only one that thought it looked all right? <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, no. We're like... Too, because we're all cakey people. We're like, no, no, absolutely not. 
I just have bad expectations. He, words and to all. He, he's Parody. totally Gryffindor because <laughs> Harry <laughs> ate the cake. <laughs> Here I am, total slither, and I'm like, no, I wouldn't eat. I that. would not. <laughs> no. I think that shit was pink. Me, then, it's that nasty fake strawberry pink frosting mm, that comes to the can. Yeah. I was like, oh hell no, you did not make me that cake. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I would eat it. <laughs> I, would, I would eat around the butt parts. Yeah. I'd still eat the butt parts. Yeah. yeah, you would. I would eat the butt parts. I would eat only the butt parts. So yeah, we're not having a Harry Potter. Well, we're having Harry Potter fun, but it's because we are we were birthed. That's right. why. Yeah. Yes. All right. Anybody else want to do? Um, um, no. We need that. Well, we like to do this popular thing where we talk about urban words. Yeah. Yeah. So we care about... Urban word of the day. Of the day. <laughs> This this came over from the Left a Good podcast. Though. No, it did, but it's still enjoyable. That's yes. why we brought it up. Yeah, that's why we brought it. Yeah, totally. Um, so the urban word of the day today is a hell joint. What in the heck is a hell joint? What in the hell is a hell joint? Hell joint? Hell joint? Like joint? Like like joint? Okay, like joint. When your joints give like, me a hell. Like <laughs> like trees joint like that herbage joint like herbs and herbs joint. All right, all right. Like a joint. What's a hell joint? What is it? What is it? Okay, no. I'm going to guess that it's a prison in hell. (laughs) (laughs) This this joint is hell. I'm going to guess that is a joint that you smoke that's really, like, sends you on a bad trip or something. Spicy. Very spicy. Spicy. Spicy joint? Melts your brain. Spicy. Brain melter. What's your thought? I'm going going with brain melter. You're going with brain melter? I'm going with it'll make you sweaty on the bathroom floor. (laughs) <laughs> okay, when I when I when I first read it, I didn't look at what it was. And my thoughts of the hell joint I was like, like damn, damn, <laughs> damn, girl. damn girl, damn son, that was a hell, hell of a joint, joint. Mm. like a hell of a joint. Okay, so a hell joint, bro. Is that what that is? No, no. I was wrong, <laughs> <laughs> and all y'all motherfuckers were wrong too. We often are. Man, a hell joint. A joint that is wrapped with Bible pages. Oh, or page. Oh, oh. Okay. So, Jack, look at this joint, bro. Jake. Whoa, bro. Is that a hell joint? Yeah. Jack. Yeah, bro. Jake. Dude, you're going to hell. Mm-hmm. That's right. So what it is is that you roll the fucking joint with the fucking pages of the Bible. Yep. That's the beautiful that will you well, it's the if joint that will help. If you're you staying in because a hotel it's blasphemous. room, yeah. blasphemous. If you're staying blasphemous. in a hotel room and you don't have any papers, there's always a Bible. Then you or roll your shit with <laughs> or a phone book. Either way, <laughs> you're going to hell from doing both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, there like you go. It. There you go. I, there was the, there was very heavy fucking religious connotation to that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, but. Yeah. I like that. I, I thought it was funny. funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> all right. I like that. Good, good, good. All right, all right. Hey, okay. oh, did anybody see the Joker movie? No. Joker? No. no. Not yet. I saw it. Got Shut it. up. You you know. Oh, I did, you yeah. Would. All I know is that... It's horrible. I was Don't watch it. <laughs> I heard Chris Hardwick say that <clears throat> the movie made him want to be nicer to people. Huh. Like that's how much it touched him. Wow. And I, was, I read about it, too, before the movie came out, that it's like... It's like a character study. And huh. like, it's like a cautionary tale right. on why you should treat really people nice. better. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But he feels like he could do better, I guess. We could all do better. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's a, all be more. I feel like that would be the perfect movie to watch and discuss. I think so. It, it is. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll okay. say. Okay, right, right. so we it, will it do is. that then, right? It's great. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get away from that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so should we talk about weird stuff? Yeah. Yep. So I'll tell you them. All right. So let's get weird. All right. Here we go. So it's not so weird, but it is a, a thought. So you know they make really reality TV shows of everything. Yeah. Why haven't we started a reality TV TV show yet where flat earthers have to find the edge of the earth? Oh, well, oh dude. <laughs> Nice. Mind Holy fuck. That'd be Why brilliant. aren't we sending these retards on epic adventures <laughs> to find the edge of the earth? I'm because they're gonna, I'm because they're gonna earther earther earther. Earther. You are not. <laughs> because they're gonna because they're gonna put that shit away. <laughs> you are so way smarter than that. Did you say put that shit away? 
I'm gonna wear a Flatter Society shirt one of these days. <laughs> so you're gonna wear a Scientologist shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's just my thought. Is like we've done it with everything else. We should yeah, totally do that. That would be yeah, so much so fun. fun. That would I love be. that. I would totally watch that. And they fun. should. And they should seriously, if they're going to do that, you should do the Holly, ho- Hollow Earth situation as well. Right, where they kind of like these ama- it's like this amazing have, world inside season, with dinosaurs. Season, season one through ten is flat earthers, and season no, ten through or eleven through twenty are hollow earthers. Yeah, you know who the host is for both of Against each other. Season. Okay. Who? Who's the host? The host? It's going to go on. Oh, Lord and Savior. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. That's right. What's going to happen? Jeff Goldblum's going to be the host. Oh, oh totally. That would be great. Oh, my God. I'd watch it. I'd watch the shit. I'd watch the shit out of that. He'd be like, well, oh, yeah. uh, uh, I mean. Oh, I can listen to that all day. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Do we ever think about if we should? <laughs> I love it. And then my other funny one, you guys, is um, that bean bags are just sofas without bones. Whoa! <laughs> bean bag chairs? Wow. Bean bag chairs. Dude, oh, I love me, that. Man. It's just chairs without bones. Chairs without boneless, bones. Boneless, chairs. boneless chairs. That's what we call them from now chair on. Chair nuggets. 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 So, chair nuggets. Oh, that's awkwardly high five. Chair nuggets would be like. Chair nuggets would be like Ottomans. Like a footstool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they go. Boneless. Different companies have have different names for them, obviously. Like bone out chair, boneless chair, chair boneless chair, chair cutlet. (laughs) The different cuts. (laughs) Different cuts of sofas. Fucking veal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get, you're like zoned out on it right now. No, I'm not I'm sure what kind of world this is. <laughs> it's just, it's, my mind just went poop. What a wonderful <laughs> world we live in. Mm-hmm. Just went. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. That was a. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. That wasn't a brain fart. That was like a brain bubble or something. I yeah. have another one. Do you guys want to hear it? Yes, yeah. right. please. Okay, so uh, <laughs> when we're talking about anxiety and when you're trying to explain it to other people, when you're trying to explain anxiety to other people, it's kind of hard. Because if you don't have anxiety, it's like it's hard to it's hard to understand what how someone else feels in their own body, right? So you're gonna break it down for them. So yeah, this would be my description. So like anxiety is like when uh, video game combat music is playing, but you can't find any enemies. <laughs> so you're like <laughs> so you're like walking down the street and you hear but you're just now walking down the street hearing but there's no one to fucking fight. You're freaking me out, man. <laughs> Holy you know? yeah, so or like, yeah. oh, it's like Mortal Kombat, and it's like, finish him, and you're like, but I don't know. You're just standing there like this, doing that back and finish forth me? thing. Finish me? You? Finish what? me? Finish him? Um, it's, it's like, okay, so a game I play called Skyrim, there's dragons you have to fight that come out of nowhere, uh-huh. and like, you'll hear the music, and they'll fly around, and then sometimes you won't see them for a while, but the music is so and you're like, where'd they go? Dude, what's that, um... <laughs> What was that game called? Is it, it? I think it was called Anxiety, where it was like, and you had to put all the pieces oh. in it before it popped. Operation. No. Oh. No. 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 Oh, Anxiety. Yeah. No, was that? Serious? What yeah. was it called? I think it was called Anxiety. No, like, it's like a square box. Yeah. 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 Somebody Do you guys know what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, 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 you somebody. have that it timer has, and you have to put called? everything in, in before it pops. pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I can. It's, it's, it's like right the there. Line. It, Concentration. I think it's concentration. Something it's like that. Concentration. I think it's worth seeing. Right but I had, I, would, I don't, I would play that game because it was fun because I wanted to do it because I like playing brain games like that, super things. But then how do you think you'd be if you you're play playing? I'm like, just like heart attack, fucking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally. You think perfection. 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 That's Holy a shit. concentrations with See, an entirely a different thing. game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa. That's another thing. If you didn't, if we didn't get that, it would have been chewing away at me all episodes. <laughs> right? I wouldn't be able to talk. That game, that game for sure, is that music perfection. playing, and then you, there's nothing you could do. You're just gonna get attacked, and, and you're not gonna fight anybody. That's just life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's think, anxiety in my I head. Think... There's some music playing, and I can't do shit about it. Yeah. And I think I think like I think anxiety is only like it's a sub- subjective thing. Yeah. Right. Like your anxiety, you react. Your anxiety, the way you react. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You, you act the way you act to your anxiety. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, I act entirely different to my anxiety, which I realize now is anxiety. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I, have, I, have a, I have a horrible problem about getting passionate about shit. And when I, mean, when I say passion, I mean anger. Right? Yeah. I, don't, I don't like to say that it's that's anger a, because it is. That's a nice way to put it. You know, I get... I get, I get, I get the flip. Yeah, I get, I, get, I get... When I'm anxious about something, like, I stress out a lot. And I, I bottle it in a lot. So when it comes out, it doesn't come out like the, the, your typical idea of what anxiety is for everybody else. You know what I mean? It's not a basket case situation for me. It, it is and it isn't. Mine, I start getting pissed off. Yeah. Right? I start building up really, really, really small things where the last small thing becomes a big fucking issue for me. And you're like, and I'll be like, it's, 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 dude, why are you pissed off at carrots? I'm sorry I made carrots. You know and I'll I mean? be like, wait, it's totally not about the carrots. No. What happened? No. Let's talk about it. Don't be alarmed. Talk to the he knocks me out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the stress building up. That's right. But that's 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 my thing. Like like I no, let's my go. stressors, my stressors, my this, the things that stress me out are are very particular. Like I'm, I'm, I, I, in my mind, I'm a very organized fucking person, but in reality, when you look at my situation and what's in front of me, it, it seems unorganized, right. but I place my shit in a place that I know that when I come back, it's going to be fucking there, yeah. right? I, I, I place my tools at work in a place I know that they're going to be there, yeah. right? And it looks disorganized as shit, but it's in the right place. Because I know when I come back, it's going to fucking be there. Right? It's not... I'm not... These, these tools are my fucking tools. So you're not going to come over and use my fucking tools. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're going to use my fucking tools, you're going to ask me. Yeah. And I'm going to say, fuck you, get your own. F you. Because they're my fucking tools. They're my effing tools. Are we deaf saying it? Oh, so we're in it's this It's like pepper, pepper throughout the episode. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Dev's just like, meh, 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 about so whatever. So, for me, it's like, you, you get this voice so that's like, hurry up and do this. Hurry up and do what? Hurry just do hurry up. Yeah. What, you, what am I hurrying up? Just hurry, hurry. Hurry. hurry what? What? Oh, what the heck? Car. What's going on? <laughs> that's why yeah, it's I so hard for me to give change. The customer is like, hurry up, hurry up, but the customer's not saying that. Nothing's happening. But in my brain, I'm like, like hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, what am I hurrying for? Yeah. We don't know, but it's da 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 yeah, that's how you guys' stress manifests itself. How you, yeah. And how you notice it, I guess. Yeah. When you're a kid, you don't really notice it, though. No. You just, you just roll with it. You have no. the energy to roll with it. You don't have the wherewithal to figure it out. But yeah. And you think it's normal that yeah, everybody, yeah. That everybody goes through it. You think yeah. that, like, everybody is like that. And yeah. that what you're doing is, what you're feeling is, is normal. Is it then you get older. When, when I got life, older, I realized, realized. Yeah, you realize that. This Other isn't people. the way it's no. supposed to be. Life is supposed to go this way. Everyone else is doing this. We, so you're... when I'm freaking out, <laughs> not everybody's like this. This isn't normal. Or I this was is... like, how is this person doing this? Why is this happening? Like, how yeah. do they do they not realize? You know, yeah. I'm always like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? How come they don't, you know? And it's like, because they don't have anxiety. They're not <laughs> sitting there freaking out over <laughs> calling to order pizza. I don't know about you guys, but my anxiety manifests itself physically too, not just like. In my oh, head. Yeah. oh yeah, my get, guts will hurt. I get like I get twitchy. I get muscle twitches. I have nerve damage in my body, and my anxiety triggers it. I get twitchy muscles in my arms. Mm-hmm. My fingers will twitch. I get this weird spasm in my jaw. Mm-hmm. Me too. When I, I get elevated ugh. speech, I get excitable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My tongue spasms, and my jaw just kind of you know. I mean, you can hear it when I'm talking sometimes, and that kind of makes me. Self-conscious. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> I but, clench my jaw. Yeah. My teeth are all whittled down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when I, when I get when, I'm, when I know I'm getting anxious, I get like irritable. Yeah. yeah. Like, irritable. I have a short temper. Like I lose my patience. Short I don't have a predilection towards violence by any means. You know, towards anybody. I don't get abusive or anything like that. He's a liar. He's punched me like several times. <laughs> 
in my fat sleep, head, and then I wake up lips. and apologize. Fat lips. He's like, yeah. Shante, stop trying to make me do shit. <laughs> Punches me in the face. Get in there and break me a cake. <laughs> break. Yeah. But no, I'm learning to, to. I'm learning to catch these triggers and these uh, stressors and like the things that set off my anxiety, and I'm trying to. Learning to flip it around. I'm learning like different techniques to ground myself again. And I try to teach these to my daughter too because she has bad anxiety. And I feel like teaching it to somebody helps you too to grasp it better. Yeah. And to kind of perfect it. Which I'm very far from, but I'm still working on it. So like I get shaky. And it doesn't help that I'm still drinking energy drinks. That kinda of just gets my nerves going. Your fight music is really fast right now. My fight music is like, <laughs> it's like death metal playing in my head, and I'm just like, I can't concentrate. I got to get up and I walk, you know, I pace. I like, I gotta go somewhere. I gotta do something, but what? I don't know. Sit down. You think just about gotta it. walk down the street like the old yeah. fight fighting game. Like, dude, get a hold of yourself. Sit down. <laughs> think about what you have to do. <laughs> and then I sit down and I'll be like, why'd you sit down? Get up, man. You gotta go somewhere. He's all pixelated. Yeah, it's just it's intense. Like camping. Exactly. Like camping in a wet tent. That fight music. I, I just think of the, 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 the sound that Pac-Man makes as he eats those dots. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. dang. <laughs> just, I know that sound, that exact sound. I get anxiety just thinking about it. Yeah. The oh. ghost coming? No. <laughs> or Tetris when it's all built up. Yeah. Motherfucker! <laughs> the long, the long piece. You're like, yeah, here it comes, here it comes, dit. No, that, that, that feeling. For for me, when it comes to like Game Boy games like that, it's Pokemon. Um, I used to play it a lot. Uh, On the DS. Uh, Game Boy and <laughs> DS. But uh, there's a point where like if your hit mo- if your Pokemon's hit points goes down to a certain level, mm-hmm. the the battle music intensifies. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, they're close to cranky. Yeah, so yeah, that'd be yeah. like so anxious with that yeah. just because I'm like, this is an important gym battle. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose, I, I lose all, I lose like half my money. I wasted all these potions and then I have to train these Pokemon again and try to fight this, this gym leader's fucking cow Pokemon. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It, so it was, was, yeah, it was. From there too. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, you play the Legend of Zelda on Nintendo. I haven't. That's oh, the really? only one that Dude, I didn't it, play. Like play Legend of Zelda on Nintendo, and when your hit points get down to like half a point, you hear this beeping sound yeah. oh. to signify that you're almost dead. That shit drove me nuts. <laughs> That's kind of like what you're talking about. Right? Yeah. But it's just like. Dee, dee, dee. Dude. And you're trying to play the game while this beeping's happening. <laughs> you know what that Nintendo is? Nintendo ruined a lot of lives. That, 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 that. It's totally like Sonic the Hedgehog. When you, yeah. Isn't it? Like when you're running and it's like... It's this crazy noise. It's yeah. crazy noise. I think, I think the the Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Yeah. And Big then the bit, screen's like flashing. Right, right. No, oh, that's just... Like... Yeah, Sega, Sega games. That's where all my anxiety comes from. Woosa. Oh, I miss Sega. We should have Sega games. Let's play some Sega. We play some Sega, Sega after this. Yeah. Look us up on, was it Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be gaming retro games on Twitch. Yeah, you want to play some Sega with us? Let's Actually, play with Shantae's anxiety. Right. <laughs> so, you know, the, it won't be just playing the game, com- competing against each other. Be like, it'll be, it'll out be, first. There'll be like a face cam as well, too, and it'll be like in the little corner. I'm just like movie. sweating. <laughs> <laughs> just sweating horribly. Oh, man. You're freaking me out. All right. all right, so what's next? It's time to get nerdy. All right, nerdy news. We didn't fucking do most of it. Yes, we did. We didn't do it at all. Yeah, you're just ranting your face off all the time. <laughs> but anyway, actually get some of those. I thought fucking... you did. Let's get nerdy and then we'll come back to Duff. You want to you said something now? Well, there was, there was an actually said that I was going to get to. Do you want to do it? No. You ready? Let's go. You want to do nerdy and then we'll do it? Let's do a nerdy. Okay. okay. Hey. Nerdy news with Neil. Hey, Mom. Talk nerdy to me. Nerdy is a word. I accidentally broke the cutting tool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. On both sides. That's okay. Why but, you stop poking the cutting tools? What? No, I was, I was slicing with the play doh with it, but. I was like, oh, thank God I didn't say it's sister. It's broken off when I was playing with it. It's just cheap. <laughs> I got it from the dollar store, anyways. Sorry. So, see that stamp with the cutting tool that goes like this? Sure, let's go look. <laughs> <laughs> Play it over. Alright, 
I'm ready to be Neil. Anyway, so I think the biggest thing in the last month and a half was the breakup and um, makeup of Sony and Marvel and Spider-Man. So mm -hmm. Spider-Man was an orphan over the August. Everybody freaked out because we thought we'd never see him in the MCU ever again. Yeah. But now they're back together. Uh, not only that, but it's rumored that they're going to do a Spider Tom Hardy Spider-Man and or Tom Hardy's Venom and yeah. Tom Holland's Spider-Man crossover Tom. movie. Which is perfect because I like them both so much. <laughs> They're both pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, to see the MCU get their hands on Venom and do it right, yeah. will be do good. It right. They're going to do them hard. Do it. Do it good. I like it. Oh, that's cool. That's so, you know what's funny is that we ended left to good talking about uh, Marvel's uh, Disney breakup. Yeah. Tony breakup, yeah. What's going on? Talking Obviously, about Disney? Marvel and Sony. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Spider Man yeah. and Disney the Tom Disney Hardy Sony? Venom oh, crossover yes. movie. Tom Hardy nice. Venom? With Tom Holland? With Tom Holland. That's a bunch of cream happening right there. Tom <laughs> makes you hardy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, that's right. I like it. That's but also, Ryan. too, what, what just came out today was that uh, Ryan Reynolds tweeted, tweeted that he was Tweeting? at uh, Disney. <laughs> So he, he said that he was, you know, his post was something about joking being there, but uh, a lot of people think that uh, he's gonna um, like be in charge of the X Men slash Deadpool franchise. Oh, what? and that would be that would be pretty cool because he actually fought for creative control of Deadpool. Like he actually really wanted to do it justice and not the garbage at the end of the Wolverine. Right. So. Right. Uh, you know, I'd be interested in seeing what his vision for the X Men would be. Seeing like what he did with Deadpool and Deadpool Two. I think it would be so much more entertaining. Yeah, be as long as they don't try to water it down. Mm. No, they got to keep it as 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 gritty and as fucking dirty as it was. Yeah, that's the only way it works. Yeah, yeah. because it's Deadpool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think they have to make I think they have to make Wolverine a little more dirtier because he was a bit of a, he was a prick. They I tell you, I like Logan. Good Logan, I like it. Yeah. yeah, but the rest of them, not so much. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, you know, I mean, he was a bit of a jerk. But he did he, single fuck yourself in what was it, uh, Days of Future Past? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they tried to recruit him. He's like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Fuck yourself. <laughs> but like, really? That was it. <laughs> yeah. That's all he touched on. Yeah, you know, That's it's true. He's more of a prick. Like he's a real fucking yeah, asshole. Yeah, totally. like, he's a complete asshole. Not friendly, what's so fucking ever. Uh, he's a nomad, yeah. Yeah, he said so, like shit. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's, that's sort of what he was like in the comics. Like, what um, Logan was actually sort of based off of uh, the comic series Old Man Logan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a like alternate tale of uh, when uh, the villains actually won and took over the world. Like a lot of the a lot of the heroes died, like Captain America, Iron Man. Some of them became villains. Like, it's it's, it's, it's really deep. It's it's such a good series. I don't want to give it away too much more in case you wanted to read it, but um, it's a pretty good series there. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of series, I stumbled across um, uh, an Archie comic series called Afterlife with Archie. I saw it too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Taking horror elements yeah. and adding it to the Archie universe. Did you yeah. see the books at the store? I like that. I haven't. I yeah. want to actually yeah. pick them up. Yeah, I, yeah. I came across it because we were at the comic book store mm. and I was looking through the, the Archies and then there's a whole bunch of different ones over there too. Yeah. But I, like I've heard of before Archie versus Predator. I don't know how that works. <laughs> 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 wow, that's pretty random. <laughs> Archie versus but, uh, Predator. I've, I've heard of Afterlife with Archie. Like, I think I saw a thing for it a couple of years ago, but uh, uh, apparently the show um, Chilling Life of Sabrina is actually based on the comic series yeah. mm -hmm. in Afterlife with Archie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, pretty yeah. neat. Yeah. It's so right. cool, yeah. yeah. And we, I watched some of it, and it's actually really good. Yeah. I won't really say too much more. Like, it, if you look into it, it totally suits the Halloween season. And it's called season. After... Afterlife with Archie. Yeah, Afterlife yeah. with Archie. Is it serious or com comedic or what? It's a comic yeah. series. Yeah. Like yeah. funny. Like oh, comedic. well, no, uh, it's like 
order, yeah. essentially, but it's in a like comic series, right? Is so it you, like the same as Archie? Is the yeah, it's, it's the same. Like yeah. That. yeah. It's cool that they stuck with that. Yeah. Uh, it would be kind of cool if it had some comic elements in there, too. Oh, um, I'm sure though that some of it will be fun. Like, I don't know. I will say like the 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 first the 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 first comic that kicked it off had uh, oh. had Jughead cause a zombie That's apocalypse. Definitely. Yeah, because he had That's an insatiable hunger, so he started eating people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when there's no more yeah. cheeseburgers. Nice. Yeah, Jughead will walk the earth. Sorry, guys. That's my no worries. <laughs> reminder to take my medication. <laughs> I get a little squirrely. Yeah. It's your pill alarm. Yeah. Do you have one of those pill thingies with the days of the week on it? I do. Oh my god. It says what Monday, color? Sunday, two, like you what know. What color is it? Uh, it's the AM is yellow and the PM is green. I like that. It's like yeah. Sunday AM, Sunday PM. Do you have a pill crusher? No. A pill cracker and halfer? My grandma had a cracker and halfer. I don't want to. I want to. You no, I had I, I, I made my alarm so I remember to tape and oh, before that I had my daughter texting me to remind me. captured all that. <laughs> all right. Well, hello folks. Well, so, there's not, there's not going to be anybody there. We thought, we thought we lost you Damn guys. It, Joe. Good job, Joe. <laughs> That's funny. Well, why don't you call him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Joe, we'll call you. I thought we were going to do it after. Yeah. At break time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that logged into the same account when it's happening? Yeah, it's it's logged into um, it's logged into our account. Oh, I'm on on my account. And I'll tell them that we'll call them on my my account. Fair enough. Are you paired? Don't call us. We'll call you. Call you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't connect Joe. Well, aren't you connected, Joe? Don't you? Aren't you? How would I be no. friends with him? You're not friends with no. Joe. Okay, I'm friends with Joe, so I gotta connect with the Bluetooth. So what are what are we gonna do? I'm gonna uh, connect to Bluetooth. Have any more nerdiness? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Share sure, one more else? thing. Sorry. So uh, I've been watching a bunch of horror movies lately. I get into the uh, spirit of Halloween. I watch. I try to watch at least one horror movie a day in all of October. Um, so I kind of wanted to put a challenge at, or like homework or whatever out to our listeners. Uh, we'll we'll partake in it as well but i want to know what you guys top five horror movies are Us? so yeah you guys okay. and our listeners so right. next next episode top, 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 right. top so next five episode. horror you guys movies. have homework homework top, top five, five horror movies top five all time horror, horror not horror horror movie horror horror, horror. So horror. i'm going to pornhub for horror movies top five right? no. yes. top horror. five horror, horror movies horror, horror. horror. horror movies sorry <laughs> <laughs> My okay. boys, you're very talkative. Cool. Thanks, boys. Love you too. So, uh, another thing was um, Disney Plus is right around the corner. Streaming service. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Disney streaming service. Let's go. Oh, I thought we were going to do our five right now. My bad. Sorry. Oh no, no, yeah. no. That's next week. Next week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Next week. So take some time to really think about. But it. yeah, so uh, Disney Plus starts up in like a month, mm. and like. Day one launch will be The Mandalorian. Oh, fuck oh. me. Star Wars. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, it'll also include the world according to our Lord and Savior, Jeff Goldblum. Woo! The world according to Jeff yeah. Goldblum. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm That's totally a, I know oh, what I'm watching when I'm alone. Out with Netflix, in with Disney. I know Pretty what much. I'm watching with Shantae. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know what I'm masturbating to. Series. <laughs> I know what he's <laughs> masturbating to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for getting nerdy, Neil. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. me. Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> oh, we just got the stream there. Okay, so okay. we're going to do this call thing now. Yeah. I thought we were going to do it after the break. Well, we're going to have a break? No, we can't break. We're live. Oh, yeah, no we're more live. breaks, man. Bye. I mean, we fucked up a while ago, but. Oh, All right. Cool. You had like a minute window for a break. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed it, that's on you. <laughs> we're, uh, we're gonna call. We're gonna take a call right now from somebody. And uh, somebody. this is uh, Dear Malcolm's corner. Yes. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Call me, and I'll give you advice. Ask me a question. Ask me anything, and I'll help you. Uh, or you can you tell can. me that I'm Try pretty cool. Up. Tell me I'm handsome. Tell me I'm smart. Because none of these guys will. Fuck you. <laughs> See what? I'm F this. F, F this, this show. <laughs> F you. 
All right, here we go. All right, so we're calling. We have our caller, and this is our caller. Are. Yeah, I should be connected. You should unconnect. Turn off. Turn off your Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Joe. We have some technical well, issues. Yeah, this right is our first episode. Just turn your Bluetooth. Working out the bugs. Well, all right, all right, ahead, Joe. Just one more, one more second, Joe. <laughs> Our offer so like is for catching you screwed. Don't it, worry. I swear to God, this feels like our wallet, first time. Our, the wand while you're waiting. You're Those thinking. damn hell cells aren't it connecting should be connected. quick enough. Okay, I'm still trying to connect. My bad. We're going to have to curse some of those elves. There you go. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Shoes. Shoes. All right, we are connected. Can you hear me, Joe? Joe. Oh, 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 there we go. You got one there? Yeah. Hey, Joe. Joe, talk to us. Can you hear me, Joe? I can hear you now, yeah. All right, perfect. Hi, Joe. Hello. What okay, up, can Joe? You, can you turn your speakers down, please? Hey. Yeah, what's going on? Joe, talk to us. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Okay, let's disconnect the speaker then. Hold on. Hold on. Science there stuff is weird. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't, know. I don't know iPhone stuff. Okay. What are we doing? Okay, Joe, can you hear us? Yeah, but, um, speaker? Okay, I'm going to turn off uh, the speaker on. <laughs> Sorry, technical issues, bro. Um. No, that's off. Speaker off, but put your phone on speaker. It is on speaker. It's on Bluetooth. I got triggered. Babe. <laughs> <Leave me. laughs> triggered. Dude. Okay, sorry. Dude. No, no, no. Not you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not calling you, babe. <laughs> it's, it's, I'll call you, babe. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we are. Here we are. All right. All right, Joe. Talk to us. You're live. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, dude. You want to come on the show? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> okay, I got an FS fucking chemistry man. Chemistry. 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 All right. I do chemistry, and I fucking suck at it so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So fuck chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Listen, we dropped my land in this course, dude. I have none of the prerequisites, okay? All right. <laughs> so why are you in the class if you don't have the prerequisites? <laughs> I managed to sweet talk the fucking professors into letting me in, man. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you would hate chemistry. You sugar talked your way into hell? Sure. <laughs> wow. It's the worst thing in the universe, but like, I, like, I can't, I failed it in chemistry, all right? I failed it, but my teacher was like, I failed chemistry in high school. I mean, my teacher gave me a package to do over Christmas break because I failed it so bad. He's like, if you do this package of work and bring it back, I'll give you, I'll give you a pass degree, I'll give you a C, you know? Right, right. And I come back and I didn't do any of the fucking homework at all. And she's like, fuck it, I don't want you in my class again. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get the F out. <laughs> all right. That's the only experience in fucking chemistry. Alright, so I talk my way into this class and it's fucking the most ridiculous shit. The professor doesn't teach us, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The professor, the, all these uh, lectures we get sent to, it's just like, look at all this math I can do. It's fucking insane. It's like this little Indian fellow, he doesn't have the accent, it's great, he's a good guy. But he fucking sucks teaching, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright. So what are you going to do, Joe? All right. All right, Malcolm. All right, talk to me, brother. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. Good to see you, man. Yeah, it's good to hear from <laughs> you, man. I'm like delayed a little bit on my end. I can't see you, but I can hear you. We feel you in spirit. I feel you. Do you guys? Not like yeah, those stuff. Sure. Why not? All right. Okay. So the fucking whatever your conundrum is. Where are you at? What are you doing? I'm up 
<laughs> oh man! Well, I've wow. I've, uh, I've been behind the scenes in, in some respect, as far as like uh, one political party. I, I'm a big supporter of them. Uh, I'm not a political guy by any stretch of the imagination. I do know about this person with whom I support. I know their platform. I know what they're trying to do, and I support it 100. Um, percent I understand that there's a lot of, I mean, as far as I know, there's a lot of bad mouthing going on with this person that I support. You know, it's like a real smear campaign. Uh, they're telling lies about them, just blatant, ridiculous sort of lies. And this person's trying to play it as straight as they can. Um, I believe in what they stand for. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just, this, this kind of shit just makes me really not want to get into politics at all. Just how ugly it gets, you know? Like, have you ever met somebody that you just want to smack the shit out of them? All the time. You're real choppy on my end, man. I'm sorry. I gotta apologize. It's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. Huh? Sorry about the technical difficulties, guys. Everyone's bailing on the show. The snap for show? Yeah. You ever notice snapping with your off hand is a lot stronger than your, your, your dominant hand? Why is that? <laughs> Alright, how is that? Is that working? Alright. So what do, you, what do you think about all this, Joe? Uh, from what I understand, uh, this, uh, what's his name now? For the NDP? Yeah, he's... Mr. Singh? Jagmeet. Yeah, he's, he's, he's teaming up with uh, uh, Trudeau. Yeah. From what I understand. It sounds like he's open to that sort of idea. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a last-ditch hey, effort for me, what? to me, for, 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 for he's clinging on to anything that he can right now on his way down. Dude, it seems desperate, man. You're right. I, I agree with you on that. It sounds Sorry, like you know, yeah. yeah, sure. And uh, what do you think about uh, what's his name, Jordy? Taylor. Taylor Bacharach. Taylor Bacharach. Yeah, that's uh, Claire Ratte. Claire Ratte? For the yeah, conservatives. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she really brought it. She's doing really good, I think. No shit, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. It's crazy to watch here in Prince George because the youngest candidate is the one who I, who I see most often around town doing shit, you know? Like, granted, she goes to university, you know, I'm at the university, so yeah. I see all the fucking time, but it's crazy to see that the youngest candidate is the one getting out there fucking, you know, putting in the legwork. Yeah, brother, she's literally going door to door, knocking on every door that she can to, to try to gain support. And she I think came to our door. I think that's just amazing. It is. It's fucking wild to see, man. Like, um, she, she didn't get in the base. From what I heard, she didn't get in the base. She didn't get in the base. But like, from what I heard, she did. She, she, asked them, she, she used to be the one consistently coming with the facts and shit like that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, yeah very, she's not scared. She's very honest about uh, her stance on things right and uh i don't know she just she's just a really down-to-earth person from what i understand you know yeah, I mean, who, who else would literally go down the street and meet you face to face in your home to talk to you to try to understand you right fuck yeah there's not very many politicians who are doing that i haven't heard of that like since like since Cullen, basically yeah Cullen's the shit he went door to door on the rest man who else did that you did eh yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, so obviously you're not going to share who you're going to vote for. Are you voting? Are you going to vote? I, I, I missed the, the uh, preliminary vote. I was definitely going to fucking get in there, but uh, I missed that vote. I'm, I'm thinking of going in and just voting on the day, you know? Yeah. Getting that shit checked out. 
it's not to like put any energy into uh, like researching the different candidates and their platforms and shit like that. Yeah. With with schools going on, you know, like there's a whole bunch of shit going on at all times. There's always a fucking dark cloud of failure hanging over you at any given time. It's like it. True enough. It's, great, it's hard to vote when you're hating chemistry. <laughs> I'll vote for whoever abolishes chemistry. How about that? Take the alphabet out of math. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful, man. Beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing good in school, and I support you 100. percent Whatever you're doing, brother. Thanks, brother. Hey, Appreciate it, man. Hey, can, I, I just want to interject real quick. What? Uh, do you have any other questions? Yeah. Do you have any any, any other comments? Any other fucking issues? Anything, anything at all? Anything at all? I was kind of nerding out with uh, the Ryan Reynolds thing. That sounds like fun because he's, he's a huge fucking fanboy of the Marvel universe as well, right? So right. Yeah. Like, definitely. He's an asshole. Yeah, I agree with you there totally. I really hope that they take care with that when they handle them, right? Yes. Hell yeah. Definitely, man. Like, I, I definitely felt like the, the, the X-Men movies would have been a lot more enhanced with the presence of other Marvel characters, and the, yeah. the other Marvel movies would have been fucking amazing with mutants, right? Yeah, that's, that's the problem, is that the MCU with Disney, they couldn't even mention the word mutant, because no. Sony had a lockdown on that. Yeah. Or Fox did. Or Fox, Fox yeah, did. sorry. Yeah. Fox did. Uh, Fuck Fox. That's a huge fucking problem, man. Because yeah. in the comics, so, at any given time in the comics, they're always going to be twine. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so now that they're bringing uh, the X-Men into the MCU, they got to figure out how to introduce the term mutant into it. To it, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting concept. I got to make it so that's the new thing about it. You know, yeah. I have a pretty good theory on how that. they do that. All right, cool. So uh, Neil here has a theory on that if you want to hear it. Oh man, strap in, we're in for a good 10, 15 minutes. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys got out there, shit. <laughs> so basically, you know how Earth was the spot of like two or three snaps at the end of Endgame? Yes. Spoilers. Yes. Yeah. So all that power residue could have like, like that was concentrated on one planet in a vast galaxy could have like, um, what do you call it? Uh, awakened all the X genes in people that were latent. So my theory yes. is the snap Dude. brought about the next evolution. Um, I forgot what the heck Magneto refers to them as. Ho oh, Homo Superior. Yeah. 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 So yeah, 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 I like that. You hear that, Kevin Feige? <laughs> <laughs> Hire That's right, Kevin Ryder. Yeah. That's right, Kevin. Neil wants royalties. Same, yeah. same. Yeah. I felt yeah. that as soon as you said it. I was like, oh, yeah, get it. Yeah, That's exactly little, what I was I felt thinking. a little turgidity. Yeah, I got, I got excited. My dick got hard a little bit. Right? Got hard a little bit. Right? Wow. I'm so passionate about X-Men because they're my favorite Me Marvel too. team. Me too. Me too. What's that? Come again, Joe? What's that? Oh, what? Um, the comments for Spider-Man is he's coming up as a lot of the younger X-Men. Like, Kitty Prime is a big oh. story. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Ultimate yeah, universe. Like Ultimate. That's right. Yeah. Like, that would be fucking cool. Right. Fucking right. That would be fucking that. badass. They, they, did, they did have a Spider-Man TV show where he was like a teenager and he was in a super group with other teenage superheroes. Yeah. 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 Like, it, it's actually a pretty good, pretty decent show. I think it's Spider-Man Ultimate. <laughs> yep. Something like that. Wolverine Whoa. versus <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah! I want to see the story of Hulk versus Wolverine played out. Oh fuck yeah, man! I remember one issue: the Hulk ripped Wolverine in half and threw half of his body to the other side of the world or something. Yeah. So if Marvel made Logan, it would have had Hulk in it, yeah. and he would have fought Wolverine. Yeah. So it would have been. It yeah. would have been yeah. epic. epic. Yeah. Fuck! It would be it. Nice. Oh. Epic. All right. Epic. Nice. Epic superhero moves that could have been the third. <laughs> My nipples are hard. That movie was supposed to have Joker in it, too. But he got it. Yeah, that's too bad about that, really. Yeah, but See, the I'm... idea was that Joker and what's-his-face, the scarecrow dude, brave, fucking arcing together. So 
Every time I fucking watch um, um, Peaky Blinders now, yeah, that's all I fucking yeah. see, man. Scarecrow. I see Scarecrow. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Uh, with that sexy fucking Irish accent and <laughs> fucking goddamn it, motherfucker. Chris's nipples are so hard. Oh, they're so hard right now. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, Peaky Blinders is like the tits and giggles all the fucking way. Yeah, it is so fucking good. But every time I see that, I, every time I see fucking. Uh, um, I'm fucking Tom Blinder. That's all I fucking imagine, man. It's fucking Scarecrow. That's all I see. It's, every time I see that motherfucker, I just see Scarecrow. And then, you know, my tits, my, my nipples get hard and my dick gets hard. And then we're just like, well, it's a good show. He's sitting in a puddle right and, now. And Neil's like, dude, calm down. We're alone. <laughs> calm down. You're poking me. All right, Joe. You got anything else? Yeah, you too, man. I love They're... you guys. Fucking keep doing what you're doing. This is a great start, man. I love it. Yo, we love, love you too, friends. bro. Spread the word. Spread and, the word. Uh, spread the love. Get a hold of uh, our uh, F this Facebook account. We'll yeah. discuss getting you on the next show or maybe Perfect. sometime in the future. In a future yeah. show for sure. Yeah. That would be great. Whatever. Have you done, talk, chat it up, man. All right, All right. Well, seriously, it would be fucking badass to have you live, like in person. Yeah. So whenever, uh, you, whenever, you, whenever you get back home or whatever, because I know you're in Prince George right now, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. whenever you come, whenever you come back home for like visits or whatever, it'd be badass to fucking like schedule a sit down and have you fucking sit down with us. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. And good luck in chemistry. Right. <laughs> suck some bits. Suck some dicks or suck some tits. Get that fucking A, man. <laughs> Stay after class. <laughs> there you go. There you go, bro. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for calling. All right, take Peace you. out. Peace. All right. All right. That's good. It took, it took a little while to iron out the bugs, but we got it. Hey. Next time it'll be a little tighter. But thank you, Joe, for calling in. Yes. I mean, even if it's not fucking tighter, who cares? Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll, 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 we, 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 have, we have an entire lifetime <laughs> of F this. Come on, let's be realistic here. Of F this. I'm pretty unhealthy, man. I got maybe two, three months of tops, right? I said, I said lifetime. No. <laughs> How short your lifetime is up to you. Well, you guys can carry on without me. I, you have my permission. Hey. <laughs> uh, fuck you. Very much. F this. F this. F this. Mm. So do you guys want to talk about something funny? Right. Oh, always, always. It's a, it's always. A, we need to go from a. We need to go to a funny because that place that we went to was a little. Yeah. You What's went to. You're, yeah, it's you're, fucking politics, you're, man. You're, no, <laughs> you were talking about boners. Oh no! I mean, so that's speaking a, of boners, what's on your wish uh, pop-ups? <laughs> okay, so explain, explain what this Okay, is. so okay. you're cruising Facebook, <laughs> oh, and right. then all of a sudden, wish pops up, and it has like these little windows of things that you can go look at, and then you can order on wish. What's the weird shit that pops up for you? Before we mention anything, <laughs> screenshot what you find and send yes. it to us. Yes. 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 yes, screenshot. Screenshot your weird shit, the weirdest shit, shit that shows up yeah. on your wish. Yes, yeah. do that. We'll call do that. It. We'll call Don't tell us anything wish list. about it. Wish we'll list. Come up with wish a story list. Fuck yeah, son. <laughs> okay, new segment. Wish list. You wish send list. your wishes in. Send, send your wishes. wishes. For some reason, mine's always wigs. And crack pipes. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Wigs and crack, and crack pipes. Wigs and crack pipes. I, I, and you know what? I'm sorry, but it doesn't say that. It says some crap like glassware or whatever, but it's a freaking crack pipe. Right. Or is that, do you smoke meth in those pipes too? Is it the same thing? You're asking me? No, I'm no, like in general. Hey, no, there's like two people hey, on the couch hey, talking here. Do you smoke meth? <laughs> Well, you me personally, you're, so you you're, use crack pipes from Wish. Here I am, like looking at my phone. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't Take really. Take that know. answer, man. I don't know. Go ahead. I don't know all the the actual things for everything. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can smoke meth in them, but you can smoke meth in anything, really. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's what you spoon, do. I guess. But yeah. for some reason, mine's always crack pipes. I think that's heroin. 
I smoked my mint out of an apple. Did you smoke your hair when you did this food? Damn right I do. Got the spoon. Hell yeah, I've done it. You're like, you're doing it wrong, man. Five mets on spoons. Five mets? You like that shit? Five mets? You like it's like it's like hot knifing, but it's hot spooning with heroin. Oh, oh, that God. sounds sexy, right? Well, like, when, you, when you put yeah, it in your mouth afterwards, it really sucks. When you lick it, like peanut butter. <laughs> you gotta let it cool down before you eat it. Yeah, I learned my lesson the hard way. You know, it's I no like, longer have like, to eat like, like, I, I just smoked a meth on the spoon. I smoked a meth on my spoon. <laughs> I smoked a whole bunch of heroines on my spoon. Oh, I now, don't know why. And now I'm that dude that pierced their tongue <laughs> from rat race. <laughs> How like, about oh. they're sitting there holding their syringe like, I guess we don't need this anymore. <laughs> Neil's fucking eating the heroin. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. So, what, what's, what's on your wish? No, my wish, um, my wish, I mean, it just pertains to me getting my dick hard and my nipples hard. Uh, I, get, I have the I, same I, thing. So you got pictures of me on your wish? <laughs> That's great. I don't know yeah. get that. That's great. Sexy swamp, bitch. What is it? It's a blanket with shred on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right up there, dude. Get rid right of there. That's, that's on my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> this For is my now. I say you order it because Shrek is looking hella good. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I don't Jimmy. Talking about hard nipples, right? Yes. What's Courtesy of, of you don't what? Even have my it? wish? Do you I mean, have it? No, we were talking about that today. Uh, it has old man shoes? It's not wish, but it's, it's, it's like that. <laughs> it's your <laughs> sponsored ad. That's all that what's, your sp- shows, what's your top sponsored ad? It shows stuff on there, but today it was a fucking wheel luggage bag, right? With, with a <laughs> like retractable that. handle. It's trying to inspire you to travel. No, it's like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, what are you fucking doing, bro? You know what? I'm fine where I am. Go I'll, home. I'll I'm get a life back. I'm trying to find mine, but it's not coming up. Go on a trip. <laughs> get out of here, bro. Go You're off. off. Why to Las Vegas? It's a very subtle way of them telling me to fuck off, so. Yeah. What's always on yours? Uh, after this, Bonner after pills? tonight, I feel like my wish is going to blow up. It is. It's going to. <laughs> this is the best thing. Your wish is going to be granted. A million dollars. A million dollars. Oh, a million, million dollars. dollars. A million you, dollars. You want a million, a million dollars? dollars. Yeah. No, uh, I want. No, I want. I want more. Instead, on me, it's it's uh, anime and weeb shit. Is so that a hoodie? It's a, a hoodie, but chips. the design is from an anime. And a Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a weeb. It's an Akatsuki hoodie. I totally buy it. Too. Mine's like anime wigs, though, and like cosplay wigs. So it's right. not even like regular, like regular hair wigs. It's like hot pink buns with like crazy... Sideburn thingies flowing. Could be like Jesse yeah. from T- uh, Team Rocket. Yes, <laughs> it's like Jesse's just... Team Rocket hair. To the side. Yeah, or it's like Sailor Saturn. Yeah. Oh. So, so we went down the fucking <laughs> rabbit hole, man. We so went my, down my the weeb rabbit hole. My, 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 <laughs> my, mine was flexible women. Flexible women holes. <laughs> <laughs> and, you mean like morally, and, morally and flexible Harry, or physically flexible? Physically, have no oh, both. <laughs> okay. Plastic flexible women <laughs> and wands and this? Harry Potter wands. So, oh, I got Harry a bunch Potter of fucking. Wands. I got a, no, and it wasn't just the wands too. Like it, it was like flexible women, like self masturbatory, masturbatory, AIDS, AIDS, and. Just AIDS. <laughs> just, just just AIDS on there too. AIDS on your wish. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so drop, drop us an email at fpspodcast at gmail.com yes. with your wish list. Your yeah. wish list. What's Today's on wish your wish list? your wish list? Not, and it's go. not, you did not ask for that. You were just like, what the F? Wish yeah. list list us. Right? You know, Big Brother just listens a little too often. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of scary. So send it because we totally want to see because it's so <laughs> random and hilarious. Yes. So really, that's it on we'll our list, guys. Let's so let's wrap it on up. All right. So uh, thanks for joining us on this first episode. Yeah. Those of you guys who were listening and then came back after we dropped. Dude, yeah. We really dropped Thanks. the ball there for a second, but we'll make it up in the next episode. We're supposed next to be episode. getting our sound technician cat here to mm-hmm. help us. So So we're gonna have some uh good quality. You don't situations. have to put up with my fucking Mickey Mouse situation here. Mm-hmm. And we can all focus on the content. Yes. Yeah. So 
Uh, maybe that, that was that, that that was I think that was one of the things that we were um, focusing on now is because we didn't have an actual sound person. Yeah. So we're really trying to scramble and work out the situation so that we can have a plan B. And this was our plan B, and we apologize. And next time it will. We're be getting there. It's the first yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's not our first fucking show, but this is our first not F- our first F cast that. But this first episode was better than the first Left a Good episode. That's the first right. First Left a Good episode was better. I, I did a podcast back in 2008. And this was miles, miles, like better than that. Miles beyond it. I had a little USB crappy mic plugged into my computer that picked up more snow than it picked up my voice. <laughs> so, and it was just me too. Uh, like uh, John Snow? Yeah. He was talking. Uh, you uh, couldn't uh, hear uh, Malcolm. Uh, All you heard was John Snow. All you heard was... And you heard me talking. So all, you heard, all you heard was like, "I'm not worthy. Yeah, exactly. I'm not worthy. I won't I you in a cave. Suck. I made a promise. That's right. I, 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 I never <laughs> felt a woman before in my life, but <laughs> I just wanted Damn to kiss it, John, you. Down I'm there. trying to talk here. This whiskey. I just whiskey. wanted to. Yeah. I just knew how to do it. Stop it, John. So I that just, was that was it for me. Though, like, we're getting better as we go. So yes. next episode, we should have our sound guy. Yeah, we'll tighten everything up. Yeah, yes. we'll have content down to a T. We'll have you there with us, hopefully. Yeah, yes. please. So write in, email, write in. comments, email, wish list, wish list, right. wish list. Your fucking peeves, your weird your, thoughts, your nerdiness, all of this. Your top five horror stories. Yeah, top five yes. horror stories. And then next episode, we're your gonna breakfast. cosplay. Yes, yeah. Yeah. your peeves. Give me AKA a dressing up for Halloween. Yeah, and if there's any so type weird. of issue that you want to address and you would like advice on it, yes. anonymous or otherwise, I, I actually, I actually don't think we should wrap up. I think the the most important part that we fucking need to talk about is 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 is, is it needs to be talked about. You talked about anxiety, and we we did talk about anxiety. Oh yeah. Right, but but Malcolm didn't really get to the root of 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 a situation. That I would like to, you know. Okay. We are about mental health. We're yeah. having that on. No, it's true. Yeah. Guys. We, 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 the whole we, podcast. We're carrying over the fun stuff from left to good. Yeah. But we're gonna but, have an underlying tone underlying. of mental health. So, like, this is this is this is a comedy podcast yeah. with serious notes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like we we want to have a lot of fun about what we talk about, but there are some issues that need to be talked about. Yeah. And we, we hit upon anxiety this episode, and that was really good. So, I mean, yes, I mean, we, we got to the root of some of the things that we want to talk about. So, tell us your fucking anxiety stories. Yeah. Tell us what anxiety looks like to you. Yeah. What do you uh, do to deal or cope with your anxiety? Yeah, or if you feel like you, you got your validation from this episode, just write in and say, hey, this really touched me, I really felt it, I understood it, and thank you. Yeah. And, I, and I think I think I think that's a really good that's a really yeah. good that's a really good thing that you hit upon. What what are what are your your coping mechanisms? Because we didn't talk about our coping mechanisms. We talked you, about we talked about my, I talked about my fucking peeves, but I didn't talk about what calms me down, what cools me out. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I didn't talk about I talked about that the, my anxiety shows up as anger, but I didn't talk about what cools me out. You know what I mean? So Malcolm, what cools you out? What 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 brings you to a playing field? Well, what grounds me? What, what grounds, grounds you? Uh, well, when it gets really bad, I've been uh, I've been seeing. I'm not sure what she is really. I thought she was a psychiatrist, but it turns Counselor. out she wasn't. Counselor. Counselor. I guess so. Uh, she gave me some info on grounding techniques, mm-hmm. different types of grounding techniques that you can do when your anxiety gets overwhelming. Uh, For example, there's one where you just breathe. It's just a breathing technique. Mm -hmm. You breathe in slowly for four seconds, hold it in for five seconds, and then let it out slowly for six seconds. And that's it. And you do that over and over until you feel yourself come down. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a simple one. That's the one I use most. And another one is uh, you take your feet, place them flat on the floor, and you go like that with your toes. And that's like uh, you're like physically grounding yourself, right? You're getting a grip on the earth, right? That helps you too. 
Also, you can try flexing different muscles in your body and focusing on them. Start at your legs, right? Flex your calves, flex your quads, right? Just concentrate on The whole thing is to take your mind off the anxiety mm -hmm. and to get it focused on something else, right? Okay. There's another one that's called the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. I'm not sure what order it goes, but it's like five things you can see. Yeah. Four things you can touch. Three things you can taste. Two things you can hear. That's you know? the one I ex I always suggest to people. Also. Yeah, that's a that's a big one. It's you're um, focusing on your surroundings. Yeah, you don't. Uh, sometimes you won't even make it through the entire list. You start to feel grounded after mm -hmm. your first couple. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the things that I try. Right. Uh, other than that, there's listening to music. Yeah. Right. I can't read. I can't focus on the words. No, I can't. Either. So I don't even bother. I don't watch TV. I can't focus on anything I'm watching. Mm -hmm. It's got to be music so I can just later take it in my ear holes. Yeah. You know, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to move. Right. Mm -hmm. And then while I'm listening to music, I can just I can do the breathing techniques. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So that's that's the type of stuff that helps me. And uh, there are times when it gets too overwhelming and I just spiral out of control. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I slip into the darkness. Mm -hmm. I withdraw, isolate, right? Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I'm learning how to deal with these. In a productive way. Right. In a safe way. Mm -hmm. right? Safe. Yeah. Safe is safe being the key. Key. Right. Absolute key. Yeah. What were you been? Um, mine is the same. I, it's music or I have to keep busy. Which is not entirely healthy because I feel like I get overwhelmed. I overwhelm myself with things to do. And then I get anxiety and I stress about it. But the way I focus myself is things like hands-on. So I'm creating things like cutting out sugar characters and stuff like that. When I zone out and I'm making multiples of things, I'm like having to count and cut out and I'm busy with my hands. So busying my hands makes me focus on this instead of what's in my head and then my anxiety calms down or washing the dishes and stuff so if something's stressing me out or i'm upset about something watch out because the house is probably going to get clean like it's going to start smelling good and all the dishes are going to be clean <laughs> and then like chris will be like damn you're a beast woman you did all the laundry and all that and it's probably because something's wrong <laughs> <laughs> the house is amazing, shit's good, you know, but it's probably because I'm like overwhelmed. Right, yeah. But that's usually what calms me down is to put things into order. You know what I mean? So I can't control everything, but I, there are things in my house that I can control and I will just like overdo that. Yeah. And that, that was suggested in a lot of things. And I was reading an article, actually, I think it was yesterday, where... If say you can't control outside things, but you can control the inside things, so you do that. So you're folding laundry, yeah. or cleaning dishes, organizing a cabinet, organizing something. It focuses you, and you control it, so it makes you feel calmer. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes entire sense. What would you bro? <clears throat> so I do one of two things. Sometimes both, where I will immediately ask myself am I going to be all right in the end mm -hmm. and you know for most things you can say yes unless it's you know actually life-threatening but you bad. know if I'm like oh I'm feeling you know the crunch on this or that or this is stressing me out I just think am I going to be all right at the end yeah so why am I stressing about it it's not like it's going to kill me or harm me or anything like right. that and then I, think I also true. will try to turn to music if I can't actually listen I'll just you know hum it in my head mm -hmm. any uplifting music namely most songs from the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtracks. <laughs> that soundtrack is so good, right? It's so good. Perfect Dude, soundtrack. it totally so makes good. me feel better. So good. Yeah. Maybe Seriously. I'll, I'll almost, almost like always yeah. do Mr. Blue Sky. Absolutely. Ability, Come yeah. Get Your Love. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What else? Um, Jackson 5. Yeah, totally. Jackson 5. Yes. Yeah. So I'll just back. go through Get that in my head. Songs. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay. Not feeling as anxious anymore. Yeah, because yeah. you know you're totally thinking about group dancing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then you're like, ah, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. What about you, babe? 
counting. My my first thing is to count. So if you so Do you, you have a, a number that you count, like no, a, a numerical order that you count. It's it's just one through whatever. Yeah. So if you if you see me in in person, and I'm in a stressful situation, you'll see me you'll see me with my fingers. Um, I'll be I'll be doing this. Not up high. <laughs> Not up high. But I'll be. But I'll be at. He's not I, doing I wish. A, a... Playing with ghost titties. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is not playing with ghost titties. What are you doing? I'm better with these ghost titties. He's counting. When, it, when it's a real real serious situation, yeah. you, you'll see my hands, and I'll just be going back and forth between my fingers. Because I'm counting in my head. To an endless <laughs> number, that doesn't fucking matter. Right? Um, beyond that, when I'm in a real stressful situation where stresses are like hitting me really fucking hard, like for me, organization is a big fucking issue. For me, I think people should think like me. Yeah. I think people should understand like me. And I think people should organize like me. Right? So I have a big fucking issue when it comes to most everything in fucking life. And my realization is that nobody fucking because it's my thoughts. So I have to bring it back and be like, well, these are my thoughts. They're not everybody else's thoughts. Everybody else processes things differently. Everybody else organizes things differently. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to be as particular as I am about things. And they're not going to be as organized as I am about how I position things in my head. So, take for instance, work. Work is hectic. Work is very fucking dangerous. Work is fucking crazy as shit. I walk on a floor, and through my head, I'm going through all the different situations and scenarios that can go fucking wrong. So, I'm trying to organize myself so that I can organize the people that are around me so that their job is being done correctly and safely as possible. I am stressed out on a fucking completely different level because of my anxiety for organization. So what I do, I take a deep breath and understand that nobody is like me. I am who I am and it's okay that everybody isn't like me. Mm -hmm. It's a self-talk situation. On every instance of my fucking life, I get in my car and I'm like, nobody is like me. So it's okay because they're going to do their thing. I'm going to be as safe as I fucking possibly can. But they're going to do their own thing. And that's how I deal. My children are crazy and hectic and Drive me nuts. But they have their own thoughts. They have their own process. They have their own situation. Mm -hmm. And that's how I have to look at it. Yeah, that's how I don't it, understand. It, it's about your individual fucking steps. Right? For me, I just have to understand that. So you per you actually put that thought in your head. That you're like, yep, chill out. Not all of us are the same. <laughs> yes, and you, I, I put that out there as in my head. You're not like me, and that's perfectly okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, you're, then, you're, and then you do the ghost city county. <laughs> yes, and and then I take some breaths. Breaths work. Breaths count. Breaths work so fucking much. The whole the whole situation of counting. The reason why I asked about counting is because I do three threes and sixes. No, yeah. I'll be like three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, I do that. I don't My, know. And, that's weird. Like, there but are, I do threes and sixes. And, and yeah, and like I gotta, I gotta stop at certain fucking situations too. I gotta, you know, there's, there's, there's fives. There's uh, numer, n num numbers of fives, right? And there's that's weird that you're numbers of, of two. 
there's numbers of two and numbers of five. So if it doesn't fall under five, then it has to fall under a two scenario. It should, it should work. You're Jeff yeah. Goldblum right now. So much work. <laughs> You know what I mean? So like it's it's. So yours is a when your shit's going down, you have to physically put that thought in your head. Yes, I have to seriously physically? think about. Physically. Ser- Mentally. I have to seriously think. You have. To I wish I could <laughs> physically put it like, in. Jamming it in. I have to seriously like, think about it. I have to seriously stop and think about it. You know. So and... like Neil, Neil's thinking. Yes, he puts a thought into his head, and it changes his outlook for the day or how that situation. Yeah. 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 And I do that too. Like, dude, this is just a bad day. It's not a bad life. It's a bad day. It's not a bad life. It's just a bad Or I'm always day. like, money comes, money goes. Money comes, money goes. <laughs> Don't even freaking worry about it. That's usually it too, right? Yeah. Like, I think, money. I, I think I there was one quote that I fucking read the other day that was probably my favorite. What? Uh, life, life is life is present, and present is a gift. So you should live the best of it. You know what I mean? Wicked is so bored with us. <laughs> He's snoring. He's a loaf of bread snoring behind me. <laughs> so life is a gift. Life is a, life is a gift. So live in the present. Mm-hmm. I like it. I, th- I say that's something good to end on. Yeah. All right. And I like that. So also, if you have something that you do, when you start getting in a weird space or bad thoughts or have super stressed out and anxious moments, what do you do? Hit them up and okay. tell them about it. Uh, <laughs> right, right into us. If we love it. Participate, ideas. please. Yeah. Share your stories with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now that you guys have all been giving your homework. If you were to do any of them, do that one. Yeah. If try you were to only try do them. one of them, yeah. do that yeah. one. But please try Learn. all of them. Learn them yeah. all and give them a try. Right? Yeah. They're all good ideas. Or right? share what you do with us and then we can see oh. what's up with that. Oh, one. give us please. ideas. Yeah. Yes. Please. This is a good platform please. for us to all share with each other. Please. Yeah. Please give us some ideas. Yeah. There, was, there, was one thing that my, there was one thing that my counselor told me. What's that? Uh, yeah. It, my counselor told me to stop and look. Mm-hmm. Stop, look, and breathe. That was it. She was like, just stop. Just all together, just physically stop. What you're Take doing. it in. Take what's going on in around you and just breathe. Think about it. That's a lot, like a lot of what a lot of companies have in, in the field of like labor work and shit. They call it take five, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. You stop what you're doing and take a minute to look around and assess the situation. Yeah. If you're doing something safe, just stop doing it and then, you know. Yeah. Back and up. this is good too yeah. for you guys to know. <laughs> Um, Neil, I don't know. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist or a counselor of some oh, sort? I've seen a counselor. You have? Yeah. Okay, so think about this, guys. All four of us are adults. We have men, and obviously I'm a lady. We've all seen someone for some type of help or someone to speak to outside of our friends and family to help us gain some type of control over our thoughts or our life and how we process things. So that you guys know that the stigma of receiving mental health in some capacity is totally a grown up or a good thing to do. Like it's absolutely healthy and good for you to get help if and when you need it. Yeah. And I, and I, and I think men it, and women. Yeah. And I think and not even just men and women. I think children. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone need. Everyone at some point in time needs some, some sort of assistance. Yeah. And we did. We wanted to not only have that as a part of our podcast, but have it to be um, like a, a safe place so that you know that we're gonna talk about it. We're totally gonna fucking talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. And also that if you want to talk about it, we're here. Yes. And we can talk about it. Yeah. And so we wanted to make sure that you guys knew that. So I'm glad that you stopped us from closing out the podcast yeah. so that we can address it because it yeah. is absolutely going to be something that we have here. We are no, we are nowhere near being professionals. Yeah, exactly. That's but what I was going to say. What as problem. people who have experienced these issues and have received help and medication and have dealt with different parts of it, we're here, and we can talk about it with you in a healthy, safe place, and then also you can talk to us, and then yeah. we can kind of be a, a safe platform. Yeah, we, work, we can be your friends. We will talk to you about it, and it's okay. Yeah. Like we said before, you don't have to give your name, especially yeah. for it. You could just uh, get us to uh, tell your story or tell your methods uh, anonymously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or 
you could choose for us to give you a nickname. We won't give you it based on whatever mental health story you have. We'll just no. give it on what character we feel and from yeah, you or whatever. Yeah, and you know, and we're never going, we would never pressure anybody or, or shove any type of, you know, anything down anybody's throat. But if there is any type of issue where safety or really, you know, big concerns come up, we will try to give you the, you know, the right information. Yeah. Or, you know, if you need us to call someone for help, we'll do that shit too. Yeah. Yeah. So just know that we are not qualified to be giving out professional information to anybody, but we will try to guide you in the right place to do so. Yeah. So we do not want to be account accountable for the safety of people, but we want to be accountable for having the correct information to give you as far as if there's an emergency or something like that. Right. And, so uh, so that is a thing. That's a thing, guys. And we do want to help and we want to be here for you. But also, you know, if something is crazy going on, we, you know, if we have to call the police or whatever, we'll do that for you, too. All right. That's good. That's so good. just know Dis that, okay? This is a safe place. Disclaimer. We're all bros yeah. here, okay? Yeah. yeah. If you don't, yeah. We won't tell your name or if you don't want to or whatever yeah. you want to. It's whatever you want to share, okay? But yeah. we're here for you. And you can email us. You can comment. Whatever you want to do. It's a safe so, place for bros. I should have so shared this at the top of the show because we yeah. got some. Uh, we got a message in our inbox before yes. we even started recording. Yes. No. This was a, this was actually yeah. a couple of days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the name is Nicole, and she sent us a message to our F this account inbox regarding our podcast. As she she had been following some of the posts, I guess, that we talked about, and she says to the members of F this, thank you. Thank you for bringing up a topic that is becoming more prevalent each day. A topic that affects people of all genders, all backgrounds, all ages, and really just all people at one time or another. It's something that largely hindered my life for many years despite actively seeking help. Now that I work in the healthcare system, I see just how prevalent poor mental health is and the lack of resources available for people to get themselves back on track. I don't want to bash the hospital, or any hospital for that matter, but people tend to fall between the cracks when they don't have solid support systems to ensure they continue to address their mental health. That's actually a big one yeah. in hospitals in particular. Yes. Is that people with mental health problems, they, they either fall through the cracks completely, Entirely. or they just get pushed through the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like step one, there's step the, two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no actual sit down. There's no actual sit down no. with... with, with, with with a situation that can become very volatile now. Mm -hmm. And then she goes on to say here, uh, which addresses that, which is kind of cool, I thought. She said, through the media and other areas, we see where minor changes have been made to encourage people to speak up and seek help. Every admission to hospital is required to answer a questionnaire screaming, screening for depression or suicide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meditation is being taught to young kids in school. Yeah. Very good. Changes upon us, even though it's sl a slow change, right? We're getting there. Yeah, so I look forward to listening to your podcast, seeing what the rest of Kitimat and the world has to say about mental health. Here's to killing the stigma of mental illness. And that's a really big one is the stigma, it's, right? It is. Yeah. That's why I wanted to make a point to say that, yes. you know, we're going to bullshit and we're going to have a good time. And, and it won't, you know, we're just friends, you know, hanging out. We want to talk to you about cool stuff that we're interested in. But... You see three men here and a woman, and we've all received help, psychiatric or by counselors or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think most of us have taken medication or some sort of, you know, anything to help us. And yeah. I just I just really wanted you guys to know that we don't give a shit. We'll talk to you about it, and we're here to help each other, and that's all that matters. Yeah. So there's, there's some um, outlets that you can have. We have the... Kidshelpphone.ca, which will help you with absolutely any situation um, that's dire. Uh, you can text support and help at. You text hello. Text hello to 686 868. So that's, that's text hello to 686 868. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then well, then they're they're there for any support that you need, um, specifically more dire crisis if you, response crisis situations, you know. And then there there's also their one eight hundred number, which is one eight hundred six six eight six eight 
Once again, that's 1-800-668-6868 and text to 686-8668. So if you're in a moment of, you know, you're having a crisis, despair. despair, you're just at a point where you need to speak to somebody and nobody around you is that person, you can call or text that number. Yes. And so if, you, if you need help, seriously, get it. Seriously. 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 Seriously, if you can't fucking talk to them, and you feel like you can talk to us, we're more than fucking ha- happy. Reach out. We're here. We're, we're here. All right. You know, there, there's... Sometimes you just here, need someone here, to talk here, to. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The feelings are real. Mm-hmm. The situations are real. But it's not a lifetime. Just a moment. It's a moment. It's a moment in your life. It it's a moment. Life. It's a very fucking minute moment. When you understand the... Uh, the and I know it's very hard to understand that. But when you look at it in the whole spectrum of life, it is only a moment. Mm-hmm. And a moment can pass. You, you can... You, you, you don't need to end it for a moment. You don't need to end it for five years. You don't need to end it for ten that is still only a fucking moment. And if you really need to talk to somebody and you don't want to go to that whole idea of unprof- to the that whole idea of professional help. You just need a friend. You need a friend. You need people just to talk to. You need an avenue. You need a you need a, a speech board. We're here. We're more than fucking welcome. Mm-hmm. So hi guys, we're here. Yeah. Yes. So reach out. Yeah. You're never alone. Never alone. Never we're alone. here. You our emails our email is fthispodcast at gmail.com. Yeah. You want to speak to Malcolm, Shantae, Duff, or Swanee Lee yeah. about okay. any of the things we've talked about here, you can do that there. AKA Neil. You can hit us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're always there. We're always checking our messages there also. Yeah. So hit us up, guys. We are totally down to have some fun. We're going to do this again. We'll have another episode right before Halloween. So if you have any ideas for costumes or if you want to share what you guys are doing, hit us up. We're here. The best part about the show is participation and hanging out with you guys, our F This friends. That's right. All right. So that's it. All right, that's it. With that, we say... F this. F this. F this. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to each other. Peace out. Peace.